so in this tutorial we are going to learn about the dynamic block and in the dynamic block we are going to just learn about the polar stretching so in with the help of polar stretching we can get this kind of effect in the polar stretching we can uh, stretch our object uh, circularly type c here for the circle command and make a 20 unit circle just move circle from over here okay and now press o enter for the offset command and make one unit offset for this circle okay just try to make one straight line so for the straight line i will use ortho mode on from over here status bar uh, otherwise you will use f8 now i, I just uh, trimming this line okay after selecting this line i will just trace this line up to here now i just want to add some property for this line so i select this line and uh, select this uh, yellow color and just apply some uh, line weight property so after applying line property just on line weight okay now press a r for the array and select the line enter and i will select polar array just select the uh, center of the circle and adjust the number of item i will select 12 over here and just press close array you get the required array now i will just add multi-line text okay see enter mt and make one box here i will adjust the height for the text i will set 1.5 okay and enter just press one and and close multi-line text just adjust this box and apply some property for the multi-line text after applying property i will just adjust this multi-line text over here okay i will just adjust upper side after adjusting this multi-line text i will adjust the height for the multi-line text press 3 and enter Okay, just uh, use control plus arrow key for the adjustment of this multi-line text. Okay, get I will get the required position. Okay, enter the error command and select the polar array. I will just uh, enter number of item and select the uh, rotate item off here. So get this kind of placement. Uh, press close array okay now we just add a t count command for the numbering of the uh, multi-line text but we we have to here explore the our error so we can get the individual entity after we can apply the t count and i will just select the sequence like this so we get a proper uh, sequence after the selecting all objects just uh, hit uh, enter key and uh, here select the select object now we have to specify two values specify the starting number and increment select override so we get the exit numbering after uh, doing this just adjust the uh, text for our required position i will set this also with help of control plus arrow key now we just make one simple line after making line just i have to array those lines so i will select the array command but before that we have to specify the uh, white line so i will use the selection cycle and select the line okay after selecting this line just use a polar array and i will select 
base points so i get proper result but we have to specify here uh, item number of items so i will select a 60 so we get this kind of result and here i close this array so i get the proper object now i will i want to make some uh, arrow okay i will make arrow with the help of line command okay again i will use a simple line i'll enter and make a uh, arrow okay okay now, now i will use the mirror command for mirroring this line so select line and select the mirror axis okay so I select no so i get this kind of result okay after this result i will make some mm, solid head for the coloring i select this kind of color and okay so i get the proper arrow now i convert arrow into the group and after making a group i will convert into the simple block so i will type b enter and uh, specify the name of block uh, specify the pick point and just uh, select object and press enter and ok so i get the block now i have to convert this block into dynamic so double click on the block and here select the parameter ok so i will select the polar and here select two point to make a block for up polar okay after applying parameter i will select this action so for the polar i will select the polar stretch and select the object now i select the parametric point after select parameter point i will select the object again i will select object and press the enter so now my block will be converted into the dynamic block polar stretch will be applied on this block now i will able to make a okay polar stretch i get proper result like this now i uh, again insert a similar block and select the base point now I adjusted adjust this block like this. Now double click on the block and I will try to set some uh, angle parameter for the dynamic block. So for that I select the uh, polar distance parameter and press control plus one. Here I uh, find out the angle type. So now I can select the incremental. Okay. In this incremental, I uh, select the edge increment, angle incremental, and here I will enter the six. Okay. Minimum angle increment will be zero and maximum is 360. After this, I save the block. Now I get the proper angle for the polar stretch okay effect uh, will be like this so with the help of the polar stretch we can get this kind of the uh, action okay thanks for watching this video